of the mountains is so gorgeous and unique in this spot. It's really just like giant rolling hills. Wow! So nice! <sighs> Holy crap! Okay. Yeah, it's one of the most gorgeous things I've seen. Magandang umaga! Magandang umaga! Today we are driving to what may be, what will be for sure, our most dangerous trip yet in Coron. We are going to Marsilia Beach, which is reportedly beautiful. I've never been, we'll go today, so we'll know. But that's what people say. The thing is, the road going there is bad. Everybody says it's bad. Mm. I've watched videos online of other tourists going there and they made it, but they also said it was very bad as they were going. And I'm not as confident with these tires as with the tires on our own motorbike, but we're gonna give it a shot. You can always turn around if it's too bad, but we're gonna try to make it. It's only 40 minutes away if it's a normal road, but for sure it's gonna take longer because of the road. So we'll see how long it actually takes. Let's go ahead and head out. We were thinking about actually getting a different transportation, like having some someone bring us there, which is probably what you should do, but the only reason we're not is because this has been an expensive trip. We're on our last full day now and we're pretty much out of cash. And we were renting this motorbike again anyway for the, what we're planning to do tonight, so why not try it? And we did ride someone. He never wrote us back, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we did ask, but we didn't get a reply, so... We can't really wait around. We're just gonna head out. I'm Cody. And I'm Izai. We're a Filipino-American couple. Who actually met on Tinder during my first time in the Philippines all the way back in 2017. Since 2020, we've been living together on the island of Cebu with our 10 cats, hunting down hidden spots and beautiful hotels on the weekend. Now we're on to our greatest adventure yet. Exploring the jaw-dropping municipalities of Coron and Busuanga in the province of Palawan. The road's uh, bad. We're not even halfway there, so we need to keep going. We'll see how bad it gets. This car's not bad. This is basically Cebu Road. This is like half the road in Cebu right here. We still have a really long way to go, guys. Just checking them out. This is gonna be a rough day. You ready? Oh, that's sand. Oh my god. Why is there sand here? If ever any of you know that tree with the purple flowers, let us know in the comments because we really like it. The tricycle driver said that Marsilia Beach looks well, at least the tourists thought it looked like Badanes, right? Yeah. Wow. So Izai and I stopped along the side of the road to fly the drone in these mountains because they look so beautiful. I mean, look at that. It almost looks like a chocolate hill. It's insane. I really love the way the mountains here, like, kind of become bald as they go up like you have all that lush forest down below and then near the top they're almost bald i haven't seen anything like that on cebu also this one is corona island where all the lakes are and yeah there's the horrible road that we're driving through horrible road conditions but everything here is just so gorgeous the whole drive <laughs> The geography or topography, topography, I'm not sure, whatever, of the mountains is so gorgeous and unique in this spot. It's really, really like, it's really just like giant rolling hills, which maybe they are. I'm not sure what the definition between a giant hill and a mountain is, like what's the difference. But either way, it's just very unique compared to anything we've seen anywhere we've been. Maybe they have stuff like this in some other islands here as well, but I mean, yeah, I hate to say this already, but Batanes feels a little bit. I mean, just the way it's shaped, the way it looks. Let's see when we get by the ocean. Dust everywhere here though. Oh my gosh. Oh, look behind us. Is
hopefully this will be the worst of them. Hopefully. Yeah. If this is the worst, then it's it's not that bad. It's bad, but not that bad. Ah! It's okay. <laughs> You all right? Yeah. This car looks better. It's just anytime you're on those rocks, it's really easy to slip. Hoping these brakes on this rental motorbike pulled out right now. <laughs> oh my God, that view though. Come on, I'm hoping at the bottom right there that that's it. Wow, it's paved. What a trip this is to get to this beach. Man. Oh, we've been driving for about an hour. Real careful, man. This part is dangerous. I knew we'd have to go down again eventually. Ah. Oh, wow. to coming up this one. Ah! Don't freak out, you guys. <laughs> it's okay, we got it. We'll just walk it nice and slow. Marcelia, we made it! Not to the beach, but to the... Barangay? Okay, okay alright! <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful! I have to stop for a sec because I can't drive and look. Holy crap. Okay. Yeah, it's one of the most gorgeous things I've seen. Jesus. Maybe that's a viewpoint up there. Let's go over there. Okay, we're still apparently not there yet, at least according to the maps. There's not a lot of people around here to ask. But we found this area. There's a stairs going down, but there's a barbed wire fence blocking those stairs. So we're not going to go down there. I assume that's not it because it looks more like a beach down that way. Down here, it doesn't actually really look like a lot. So we're going to keep going forward. Guys, this drive is actually terrible. You're scared? Yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, it's actually pretty scary in some points. We realized we're going to, we had to turn off the engine when we're going downhill because Generally it's okay, but sometimes we'll hit a bump that will make me like, uh, like kind of fall, fall back and my hand like pull the in ignition, whatever it is. What is it? The throttle, pull the throttle and then we'll go forward. It's been, it's been bad. If you're really confident at driving bikes or if you can at least rent a dirt bike somewhere, <laughs> then do this. But on the scooters, this is rough. The scooter doesn't have a good tire, unlike our bike. Or shocks. Yeah. Not good. So it's it's not meant for this road. It's very not meant for this road, but 
We are so close. We're gonna keep going. We've come this far. We've got to make it the rest of the way. We made it. Oh my God, finally. Guys, we have finally arrived at Marsilia Beach. It took forever. It was rough. But let's see if it was worth it. Hello. The doggy of Marsilia Beach. First impressions of Marsilia Beach, of course, super local. This is not a beach that a lot of tourists go to, but yeah, the area is definitely very gorgeous. As you can see, because it's a super local beach and it's not your typical tourist spot, you're not even paying for entrance fee. They're not cleaning the, the dead uh, seaweed, which, so I just want to be clear that it's not a dirty beach. It's just dead seaweed. It's still all natural. We're walking down here to where there's supposed to be a sandbar here, but we're thinking it might be high tide right now. It kind of looks like it is. And it may bury the sandbar, but there's still a really shallow part down here that we might be able to walk in, even though the tide's up. So we're headed that way. What do you think? First impressions? Uh, not impressed. Uh, <laughs> he says not impressed at all. I think it's beautiful, but yeah, let's get down to here, but... Uh, the thing is, they were hyping it up. Yeah, it's been hyped up a lot. A lot of locals have really hyped this spot up. But honestly, if this was like a 20 minute drive, yeah. it'd be like, oh, this is really nice. But for how much work you have to put in to get here. Yeah, when you first start walking around, it's like, man, we did all that. Like, and this is what we get. Like, I hate to say that because it's not bad, but <sighs> it's a lot of work. Just walked out here to this tree. I'm not sure if this is the sandbar. There's supposed to be a sandbar here. This looks like it could be. If the tide was lower, I mean, there's so much sand all around. I mean, I think it's nice, but yeah, compared to Okum Okum Beach and Black Island that we saw yesterday and the work required, it's, uh, I don't know. It doesn't really feel so worth it. I'm just staying under the shade while Cody is still filming and exploring around. Yeah, as you can see, there are a lot of dead seaweed around us and also behind me there are a few trash not a few there are trash really in this me. part yeah. yeah in this part i guess maybe it's also the time of the day, of the year where you know like things get washed up in a certain to a certain shore so maybe this is the that time of the year and then maybe normally this is pretty beautiful well, yeah, as you can see, if this beach was cleaned up, then it would for sure be really, really beautiful. But right now, it just doesn't look that much. Except for, yeah, you know, you can see the white sand, the beautiful water. But apart from that right now, it's not something that I'd personally recommend. And I think Cody won't recommend this too at this um, time of the year, I guess. Ow. It's tough, yeah. I can't recommend it with no caveats. Like, I have to put an asterisk and be like, hey, it's very far. Hey, there's, it's not super clean. Yeah. But it's really isolated, so we have that. Okay, so that one back there with the tree, that is the sandbar, which I thought, I thought I'd seen it online and it looked like that. And yeah, it's out during low tide, of course, and of course right now it's high tide. Is that it'll be low tide probably this afternoon, right? Mm -hmm. But well, we're not staying till this afternoon. We got to go back. We've got another spot to hit. We have one spot left here in Coron. So we're going to make the long, dangerous drive back to Coron town now. Hopefully grab some lunch and then go to our last spot. As a final goodbye from Marcelia Beach, as we got up to fold the sarang, we realized it was placed atop dog poo. <laughs> really good. Top five pizzas I've ever had in the Philippines. I never expected this in the Philippines. Oh my God. <laughs> Welcome to Bali. It's just so beautiful that I can really live here. She said it'll make me look more majestic. I am beauty. I am elegance. I am Bali. <laughs> <laughs>